This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place for you to get TCGO code cards. They already have Darkness of Blaze up on stock, so definitely check out the website and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. They have a huge variety of code cards, so you'll definitely find something you like. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day. If you're from Europe, you're obligated to check out this website. You can purchase cards on here as well as sell your own cards to people all across Europe. And uh, they have huge uh, bargain sales right here as well as best sellers. And you can even uh, purchase physical cards uh, for instance, booster boxes of the new set. So definitely check it out. Uh, my Both of my sponsors, BoatDownStore.com as well as CardMarket.com. What's up YouTube, it's ZapdosTCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. It's been a while since we were uh, able to say that, but now we have Darkness Ablaze being out on TCGO. It's very refreshing, lots of new archetypes will pop up on the channel very very shortly. We've already did the, yeah, the deck profiles before, so you already know a little bit of what, what's coming. But this time around, let's start this series off with uh, Mad Party. This is a deck that everybody says like... Oh, Lost March is better and even Night March is better because during that time uh, Pokemon had less HP. I know, but we do have Boss's Orders in our format right now. And Boss's Orders can target down Crobat Vs, can tar target down uh, evolving V Pokemon, can target down the Denny G axis. So, four copies of uh, Boss's Orders for sure. We are also having Crobat and uh, yeah, the new Crobat drawing cards until we have six in the hand. As well as the Danny in our list because we need to draw as quickly as possible because we need the Mad Party fellas to get our, uh, themselves in the discard pile because we slap 20 damage for every Pokemon with Mad Party in the discard pile. This is kind of like the Alice in Wonderland going around. We have the Danny, we have the Pulte Geist, we have the Galarian Mr. Brime, and we have, of course, pulling tricks out of my head, Bunnelby. Mad Party. Uh, this is the first archetype I wanted to test out because I wanted to prove people wrong that uh, with of course the uh, many gusting and uh, discard effects we have a Roxy drawing cards while discarding we have Hapu looking at the top six cards while discarding lots of Pokemon and uh, yeah the damage will uh, rack up very easily uh, the only thing I'm a little bit afraid of is like the Sinistee only having 30 HP that means Galarian Zigzagoon with scoop up net is a dangerous combo for a little Sinistee but as soon as it evolves we also have of course Pulte guys being able to use Mad Party for twin energy we have Twin Energy, uh, very nice for Bunnelby, also needing that, uh, but the Triple Accelerator Energy also works for the Pulte Gas. So we have 7 energies in total. We are going to be using uh, Oranguru from Sword and Shield to use, of course, the Primal Wisdom to save our energies before we do some crazy discarding going around. We also have Tool Scrapper getting rid of Big Charms or any uh, other uh, annoying shenanigans. We like Big Charm and the Cape of Toughness are really thing, uh, hard things to go through. So Tool Scrapper will make sure we get rid of that and then a Codex Well to finish this off. We also have Fion if you don't want to slap into a VMAX, just use Fion and you're going to be good. So this is the list, so we're going to try it out. How, uh, hopefully uh, we will uh, come across another post-rotation. So I should mention that this is post-rotation. From now on, we're only putting the post rotation content on here. And now we get uh, the versus ladder being reset and we get a zero aura GX. Very great card, but unfortunately, that rotates. We also see that we have, of course, that sick looking deck box of uh, the Players' Cup. And I wonder who will win the Players' Cup eventually. This video is recorded on the 14th of August. Maybe I'll put it out later this video, but this is very fun. I wanted to get out Mad Party as quickly as possible. So, uh, right now, we are up against some sort of a lightning deck because we, we no longer see the typings uh, that the opponent has in their deck, which is very nice. That's randomized. I, I love that fact even further because in TCG uh, and the tournament, you also don't know what you're up against the first time around. Okay, the opponent already sees we're playing Mad Party. I cannot promise you guys that we will win, but I'm going to try and showcase the strategy of this specific archetype. If it's lightning, that could be like Picaron. And Picaron is a, a lower number that we have to hit. So we start off with Fion. We have Great Ball, we have Quick Ball, we have Happy, we have Crobat. So this is looking interesting. Okay, let's see here. Uh, we're gonna go with the Great Ball first, see what we grab here. We get a Sinisty. I actually want to use that Sinisty as quickly as possible so we can evolve it into a Poltergeist. Uh, so we can actually draw more and more cards. So we're gonna use this. Uh, we can actually use Communication to actually... Uh, make our deck even thinner so we can actually grab whatever we want so let's see we have a bunnelby which we can start attacking with uh, the denny as well the denny could be nice next turn but for now i'm actually going to set up a pulte guys we do have triple accelerator energy in the hand as well so that will be nice to abuse that 
Ta-ta! We're also gonna go with Quick Ball, getting rid of the boss's orders for now. And we're gonna get ourselves uh, a Bunnelby. Well, I think so. I think I'm gonna go with the, Den the Denny so we can discard that later. Yeah, that could be nice. Maybe another Synesty so we can actually get lots of drawing going around. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Synesty. Synesty is probably the best bet for now. And now we actually can use Crobat on the very first turn, drawing four cards. I re reminiscing of Shaman EX. We already have more stuff going around, so we can use Quick Ball, get another Pokemon in hand while using it Denny afterwards. That is gonna be so amazing. Or we can use Communication to get ourselves uh, more stuff going around for now. I don't know, the Denny can actually get ourselves more stuff. Uh, Hoopa, uh, Hapu can also do some stuff. I wonder if we should get another Sunnesty. I don't think that is gonna be necessary. For now, let's just leave it like it is. Although we cannot get this guy at the active position, I wonder if he's gonna be using Electrify. If not, we're gonna be able to uh, get some more turns going around. So, what do we have? We have two Sinisty. We're gonna be able to use Communication, finding ourselves the uh, amazing uh, Pulti guys. We can use Triple Accelerator the Energy onto that, and I don't think uh, we can get this fella out of the active position for now. Although, that leaves us lots and lots more turns left to uh, get more stuff in the discard pile. For now, not a single one is in the discard pile. Okay, the Denny, that's good. We still have three bosses orders left. Crobat might be liability, but it has 180 HP. So it cannot easily be tag Bolt GX, for instance. So this is a... Uh, oh, Turbo Patch. Turbo pa Patch Bolton. Okay. That's scary. Oof. Okay, what we're gonna have to try and do is either use Hapu. Yeah, use Communication. Get that uh, Larry Mr. Ryan back in the deck. Then use the Dene. Or we use the Dene first. Ah, oh, so many options. I think this uh, Fion will get discarded for sure. We need to get 10 Pokemon with Mad Party in the discard pile. Or we're gonna be able to do it in one turn. <laughs> That's a little bit scary, but still, two shot is also okay, right? So, Sinisty is here. Uh, not a Denny. Well, that's very easy for us. So, we're gonna use Communication. We're gonna get rid of that Denny. We're gonna get ourselves the uh, Poltegeist. Yeah, there we go. Poltegeist energy over here then we're gonna use tea break getting rid of the galarian mr ron getting three cards in process well i actually want to discard i'm actually gonna discard all of them to be honest i'm gonna go with quick ball getting rid of hapu probably gonna draw another supporter anyhow i'm gonna get a dene actually you always want to grab the pokemon that you're not attacking with first let's do that here comes the dene three pokemon and the discard pal there we go. Okay, we have bosses orders. We have great ball. The yeah, interesting. We've already used. Oh yeah, we can use lookalike bell. We can get another Pokemon from the discard pile. For instance, another one of these. This is not looking good, to be honest. Yeah, we can use Mad Party and slap some damage around, but then this guy will be in the discard pile. Maybe we can get. I don't know. Looking like Bell. I don't know. Great Ball? Let's see. Yo, this is fantastic. Okay. Get another one of these Synesties out. Then we can use Lookalike Bell to get another Pokemon from the deck. Like, for instance, Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Okay. Next up, we use Tea Break once again. Hopefully, we get a supporter this time around. Come on. U-turn board. Oh, that actually saves our uh, issue of not getting... Uh, that's ha how many? Three, four, five. That's 100 damage. Great ball. Great ball. Okay, the Dene. 120. Still not getting the trick done, unfortunately. Okay. Bunnelby and this guy. Okay, 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 okay. How do we go about this? Crobat is weak against another type, so might as well get... Poltegeist? Do we get Poltegeist? Discard that, discard that. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. And at this point, I am actually want to save my... Uh, yeah, if we attack, we can two-shot, right? This guy gets knocked out. We still don't have what it takes to get another energy going. Although getting a twin energy or a supporter of choice would be awesome. Two Pokemon still added in the discard pile. I think I'm gonna uh, start attacking, yeah. 
I'm gonna start attacking. We do have uh, the boss door, so with three cards, probably gonna see a supporter or uh, like a Roxy or whatever. So let's go with Mad Party, and I'm also gonna equip that U-turn board onto our Crobat. Yeah, we can use boss door to slap damage, but I think getting the active first is the good key here. So we're gonna use 100 damage. Our Pokemon gets knocked out, and we can slap 100 again and knock him out. It's actually gonna set, add up two, uh, actually one uh, more Mad Party in the, in the mix here. Okay, this is a Turbo Bolton list with Island Challenge Amulet. The good news is we do get two prize cards for these Boltons and the longer the game lasts, the better it is for us. So these Turbo Patches, not always working out, flipping coins. Electromagnetic Radar, we're probably gonna see another Dedane. If that is the case, yeah, the Dedane number. Yeah, we can no longer use stuff like research, so hopefully we get Roxy instead. So our Pulti guys will see the discard pile. We can use, um, I didn't bench this guy. Maybe I should have, so we can actually draw more cards. It's fine as it is, right? We actually want to leave some space open for some Bunnel Bees instead. Come on, I'll, maybe if we draw Roxy we can even get more stuff going around with the Sinistee instead of benching it. But also, It's also an additional attacker, so thinking about that. Okay, this is a, some sort of a turbo pre-rotation Bolton turbo list with full voltage GX. We do have boss Zord, so we can use that if we top deck an energy. We can use Viridian Force to get more Pulti guys, uh, actually more mad parties in the discard as well. We can use Ordinary Rot if he goes after our two prizers on the bench. Okay, Cape of Toughness. We do have Tool Scrapper in here for circumstances like this. Come on. Electro power as well. Okay, this guy's going crazy overboard. Crobat V as well. So lots of two prizes on the bench, which puts my head at ease. So if we knock out three of them, we should be fine. There's still one boss orders in the deck. We cannot afford. Okay, boss orders on the Crobats. Okay, that is very good. That means we can still draw more cards. I thought he was gonna do that. It is totally fine. Okay, unless he has more of these fellas going around. All right, we have the twin energy to go along with that. So first things first, we're gonna use the T break. Bam! Drawing more cards. Okay, here is the Roxy. Cool. So Roxy is only gonna be able to. Uh, yeah, let's get this going around first. Uh, energy there for sure. We can use boss's orders, and the boss's orders will provide us with more options. Twenty. 40, 80, 100, 120. 120 still not doing the trick because of that Cape of Toughness. So we will have to go for Roxy for one. Come on. Okay, more stuff. T break time. Ta ta. Bram. More stuff going around. Okay, quick ball. We can Viridian Force this guy for nothing. Oh yeah, we could have actually quick bolt for the Danny. Maybe that was that was better. Maybe. Oh yeah, it's fine. We still have ordinary rot, slapping down the chaotic swell. And at this point, I'm glad to just one shot this fella. All these bosses orders will be fine to get our prize cards either way. So we do have Roxy, but we're gonna use uh, the bosses orders anyhow. So let's go with the U-turn board over here. Then go for a quick bolt. Probably will not need ordinary rot in this case. Just gonna get another attacker up and rolling ASAP. And let's go, match party style. And get some prize cards. Okay, now we just have to hope that the opponent is not playing a lot of boss orders. If they are, they can still target down our Dedenne. Which is unfortunate. So, two boss orders into this Carpal, he might have one left. If that is the case, our Dedenne will be knocked out. It's gonna be a close game. We don't have Marnie. Maybe his last boss is in the prize cards. Maybe he's playing four copies. We still don't know that. But we do have boss orders, plenty of them. So we can use our faulty guys knocking out whatever is on the bench. They're all two prizers. Electro power again. Electro power again. Research. Okay, this guy's digging for a boss Zorus for game next turn. We don't have reset stamp, unfortunately, so Bolt Storm it is. It's still a pre rotation list, so this guy has all the advantages of Acrobike and all the good stuff. Okay, so at this point, let's go with Bunnelby. 
Actually, this guy is not even a threat to knock out our Dedane. So I think we will have to go after that Zero Aura if we have enough uh, damage out here. So five Pokemon, eight Pokemon, 10 Pokemon, 11 Pokemon, that's enough. So we will target down that guy for sure. So let's do it like this. Getting a Twin Energy on the Bunnelby. Using, of course, the T-Break. So this T-Break ability reminds me so much so so much of trade okay another Dedene not that we need that so we're gonna retreat thanks to the U-turn board and we're gonna make sure that this Zero Aura is not attacking anytime soon let's go he already used lots of Electro Power so we should be out of the woodworks even if he like has another attachment of the turn he's still not getting anywhere <laughs> of knocking out the Dedene GX so let's see here well played he says how many Electro Powers Two Electro Powers. Do we have two Electro Powers left and an attachment? That could be the case. He has lots of cards in his hand, so we don't have a way to disrupt the opponent's hand, so we'll see. He says, well played after we knocked out Zero Aura, so I don't know. He could have Boss's Orders, Attach of the Turn, and Double Electro Power. That's a lot to ask for, but he has a, a slim deck. Only four cards left in his deck. Turbo Patch as well. Didn't work out successfully. How many Turbo Patches in here? Three of them. He still has one Turbo Patch left. He might have Electro Powers left. What can fit in a deck like this? Mmm. The Bundle Bees are looking rampant. Looking rampant. We do have more Boss's Orders. So as mentioned, the way to go with Mad Party is Boss's Orders. So here's the Bolt Storm. So we actually succeeded in winning against the pre-rotation list, which is awesome. So as you can see, this list is legit. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun watching it. So we can even attack with the uh, Pulti guys once again. So uh, even going overboard with T-Break. Knocking out another Dedane. Ray! And uh, we can even use Quick Ball. Getting rid of another Dedane and knocking. We're going to smack so much damage. So the main objective is going after two prizers. Instance like V Pokemon. He can also one-shot Picaroms at, at the late phase of the game. Which is insane. Although Picarom will have its hat as bad as Zay's. Uh, we're gonna be playing one more game with Matt Party. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Matt Party, so much fun. Uh, when you get, when you finally get the party started, it's also weird to see people still playing pre-rotation and maybe they're playtesting for the Park 2020. But for me, I'm uh, focused on post-rotation, the new season. Okay, the Beard Guy, Psychic Deck. If it's Dracapult, we automatically scoop because that is our worst nightmare. There's nothing we can do against that archetype. It was also funny to see that the opponent let us go uh, first. That previous uh, opponent. Psychic. I don't like the sound of that. He also got some mulligan. If it's Dragapult, we can see. That's as simple as that. That's our other loss. Okay, we start away to Sinistee. Uh, this guy will probably get knocked out anyhow. So let's start with this the Danny instead. Although, yeah, it doesn't matter. We're gonna start with this first and see what we're up against. We can still attach and retreat. Okay, Crobat V? It's not the best start, right? If he slaps down Dracopult, we already know how it goes. Great ball. Pulti, guys! You have a good deck. You have a good deck. <laughs> Everybody's in with the Mad Party. Okay, Mad Party Mirror Match. But he's playing the Mysterious Treasure. Okay. Ooh, which build is gonna win? Is he gonna get this Acrobat out of the active position? He needs his U-turn board or an attach of the turn to retreat it. If that's not the case, we can get the first attack in with, of course, the evolution of Sinistee, our great and fantastic Poltegeist. Okay, one hit. Okay, he does have the attachment on the Crobat, unfortunately. So here we go. Great ball. Yeah, I'm gonna get this guy. These, ca these guys can both attack, which is the crazy part about this. Okay, Pulti guys, let's get that out of the way. Slapping down the Sinistee. We can boss his orders one of these Velas. Maybe he doesn't have a Pulti Geist. Either way, he will still need to find another energy. So even if we use something like this and hope he doesn't have a Pulti Geist, he probably will have a Pulti Geist. Put two damage counter on the opponent's Pokemon. Two damage counters. Is, oof. That can actually be something fun, right? We still have triple accelerated energy. I think we should go for it. Let's go. Put damage counters. On the opponent's Pokemon, so that means we need less Pokemon in the discard. Next turn, we do have Pulti guys, triple accelerator energy, and yeah, he does have treasure, so and even Pokegear. So this list is running pre-rotation stuff, so I probably will uh, lose this one. And also didn't find a Crobat or a supporter. Although, if we don't play any, he still needs to find. Is that a mad party? But research busted. Okay, 
Research with Mad Party action will, means our little Sinistee will see the discard pile. The good news is we can one-shot this guy as well if we can get three Pokemon with the, pull the, uh, with the Mad Party in the discard pile, which isn't the hardest, right? We do have Boss Lord as well, so even if we get two, we can knock out Bunnelby. Or Sinistee. Sinistee is weak to darkness. Okay, fine. I'm already glad we're able to showcase the strategy. So, tea break again. Why is everybody in love with this deck? Okay, another Sinistee. It's fine. The retreat. They had the energy. The mad party. Okay. He has the first knockout. We need to find a supporter ASAP. And we need to get Pokemon in the discard pile as well. Okay, how are we gonna do that? So, first things first. Let's get this going. With so many so many Pokemon in the list, it's fine to just use Tea Break here, drawing three cards. Way great ball, okay, great ball. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm we do have Roxy, Roxy Oranguru. Roxy getting this guy. That's only one Pokemon in this card pile. That's a little bit tricky. Roxy can still get us three cards, right? So we definitely need to find way more resources. We can also get Dong, by the way. Or we can use Communication to get the Denny up and rolling. Maybe that is the safer bet here. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually doubting what to do, but I think the Denny is probably uh, gonna be the best way to go about this. Probably gonna be drawing into some good resources. If not, we can still boss his orders. Okay, Hapu. Still not what we want. Come on, Hapu, get some stuff in the discard. Okay, what do we get? We get Quick Ball. And the Swell is not gonna matter too much. Oranguru is also a nice card. These go in the discard. Another T Pokemon in the discard. And a Quick Ball. So these are actually not bad. These are not bad. U turn board could be nice if we don't get an attack off, but these will probably be better in the long run. Okay, how many of the Mad Party Pokemon in here? One, two, only two. Still one more left here. So we quick ball this away. Finding ourselves another one of our Sinistee fellas. Still two of these in the, in the deck, it's fine. Then we can Oranguru one more turn. We're gonna put the Galarian Mr. Rhyme on top. What do we get? A lookalike bell, okay. The lookalike bell can find ourselves the Poltegeist for next turn and then Hoop, uh, Hapu again. It's gonna be okay. Uh, we're gonna attack off as well. The bad news is we also get the Denny on the field, so it's a prize race. Who will win first? We do have Boss orders. More than the opponent. How many in the discard pile? Zero. This is also a pre rotation list, so he has treasures and all that. Treasure is very good in this list, by the way. Okay, what now? Okay, research. That's not a boss artist. Still digging for puzzle pieces. One, two, three, four, five. We need to get rid of his attackers, right? That's the main weakness. Oh, two of Pulti guys. Ah, scary. We can use lookalike bell, then use triple accelerated energy onto the Pulti guys, then use Hapu, then use some more stuff. It's gonna be okay. And we're also gonna be putting that Galarian Mr. Rhyme on top of the deck so we can hoop out uh, Hapu, actually, it in the discard pile. Oh boy. I wonder how many bosses orders he is running. One in the discard pile. Okay. <laughs> he can still go after the Danny. We know that. It's uh, back and forth here. He can also uh, skip a heartbeat. Maybe he can deck out. 20 cards left in the deck. Maybe he can uh, use T break, T break. Way too much. All right. More T breaks. This is reminding him of Zoroark so much. So many drawing so many cards. Acrobatic as well. Sure, why not? Your pre-rotation build. You're probably gonna slaughter us with this. You also got the first KO, and that's very important in the mirror match with the Mad Party, fellas. Mad Party. And our Tool Scraper is gone, not that it matters too much, although getting rid of that uh, air balloon would have been way fun. Okay, do it. Mad Party me. Another bundle B. Okay. Sure, he has three attackers left. Maybe if he has a little bit too aggressive, all of his energies will be gone. Two, one, two, three. Okay, fine. Let's go. Here comes the lookalike bell. Lookalike bell. Finding us. Sinistee. Poltegeist, yeah. Poltegeist for sure. Poltegeist. Followed it up by 
tea break. Yeah, tea break getting rid of this fella. Bam, more cards. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. We can use Primate Wisdom. Yeah, we actually need to save all of these resources. I'm actually gonna go for a Hapu instead. Maybe we can get something fun. Communication, Quick Ball. Quick Ball. This guy goes to the discard pile instantly. Yeah, double Quick Ball. Fine. We only need one boss resource anyhow. So, uh, yeah, Quick Ball. Getting a Pokemon like the Dene, for instance. Quick Ball. Getting rid of the Dene. And getting a Bunnelby instead. Oh, yeah, we can use Crobat. Although getting more two prizes is a little bit ridiculous. I think we should wait until next turn to do that. Primate Wisdom. The research on top. And see what we get. <laughs> Ordinary Rod. This is actually not bad. Could save ourselves from decking out. Mad Party! Shazam! Okay, next turn we do get the research. Probably gonna have to use the research to dig for twin energies. Great ball. And this is how it goes. Back and forth. Mad party. Get let's get this party started. Okay. What is in here? Three, five, seven. That's 140. This guy only has 160, right? 160 left. We should be able to get there. I wonder how many Pokemon he has. Four. Seven, eight. Oh, three bundle bees in the discard pile? Ooh, how many triple accelerator energies in here? One. Ah, it's too bad. Maybe one could be prized. Maybe he could discard one. Ah, who knows? Let's well, let's hope he wins the triple accelerator energy. Ah, he still has one bundle bee left though. Two twin energies. Okay, Hapu. Going very, very deeply into the deck. Alright, looks like there was someone at my door. Doesn't matter, we're still here with the mad party. <laughs> uh, sure, that was actually the booster box which get delivered. If you haven't seen the opening, definitely do so. This is a pre-recorded video. Alright, we need to find our triple accelerated energy. Uh, how do we do this? If we research, let's go with uh, this guy first. Crobat or this guy. We already have enough as it is. Go with this. How many twin, twin energies? Three twin energies in here. That's good. Ordinary rods. Yeah, probably gonna use it. Shuffle two Pokemon back. And I'm actually gonna take Sinistee and uh, Poltegeist both back. Saving. How many bosses are in here? Still one left. Did we save the twin energy? We have three energies left. Three energies. If one's prized, we lose. Okay. Primate Wisdom. Come on. Okay, Crobat. Okay, now is the time to use Crobat. That helps. Come on, twin energy. Okay. What is going on? Still no twin energy. Insane. We do have the U-turn board, though. Quick ball. And one of these. Yeah, I'm actually gonna get the Sinistee instead. Come on. Twin energy, we need you. Okay, there they are. And the boss is ordered as well. Fantastic. Come on, Matt's party. Let's go. 140. Now we're definitely gonna get to a, a huge number very shortly. So we need to. Knock something out, then use uh, boss's orders on the Crobat. And we still have two, two prizes on our field as well. So I just have to hope that the, the opponent is playing a, le a less amount of boss's orders. Although I do think they are playing more boss's orders and we will be in a disadvantage. If they whiff boss's orders right here, it's gonna be not the end of the game. 
going back and forth. Ballsaurus is definitely gonna uh, decide the game, however. Okay, here's Ballsaurus on the Crobat. Ooh. Ooh, that is so sad. 240 damage. Okay, we got the U-turn uh, board back. <laughs> Only one more. We just have to hope that he doesn't have a triple accelerate or a twin energy, but it's definitely going to be the case. Oh, what? Well played? What? Maybe he had to go, maybe he did, but uh, that was some sort of a weird mirror match between mad parties. Definitely let me know what you think about the mad party archetype in the comment section below. Will you try it out for yourself? Are you still playing pre-rotation or post-rotation? Am I interested to hear your opinions? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to mouse the like button and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very shortly. Peace out.